Hey, what's up YouTube? I wanted to go through a feature on the SSL 12 and any other interface that's been coming out lately, whether it's an Apollo, an Antelope, Focusrite. I wanna talk about something that's usually incorporated on an interface. And it's either ADAT in, SPDIF in, AES in, AES out, SPDIF out, ADAT out. What in the world, if you're new to recording, you usually probably um, never use that. So I'm gonna talk about some things you can do with digital that may really simplify your life. So the best way for me to, to let you understand what's going on with a digital cable, in this case, it's ADAT. ADAT is, I believe it's Elise's digital audio tracking. It used to be used in the studio to send the signal to a, to a device that could actually capture the song. So you would have these big ADAT machines, which would go 16 channels where all your outputs would go to those channels. And they found out that fiber optic was really good at carrying multiple channels or multiple signals. So you'll see an ADAT connection usually used um, on the back of a TV or on a sound bar because it's able to carry those eight channels. So if you're, if you're new to recording, on screen here, I'm gonna show you what actually happens. So when I use that fiber optic cable, you can go on Amazon right now and buy, it's called a Toslink cable, and you can actually plug in another interface. So I wanna show you what happens in the SSL 12 when you connect to it. The SSL 12 has, over to the side, it has digital in, analog in, your returns. So if I take away the digital in, bring in the analog, we're gonna have four analog ends and a talk back. If I bring in the digital in, we have an extra eight channels of digital. So let me explain to you what in the world is gonna benefit you if you're gonna use and utilize the SSL 12 and get the benefit of multiple, um, actually eight more inputs. So now I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the benefits. And if you look on screen, this is the best way for me to really clarify what we're talking about when we're sending a signal in here. So you have your toss link cable and you're saying, well, what the heck can I hook up to it? There are multiple versions of ADAT. I mean, my Pure 2 is gonna run two channels of ADAT, and I think that's, I'm gonna to have to look it up, but there's Toslink and then there's another format. I'm off the top of my head, not really, really uh, clear with that, but I do know that eight channels is the way to get the most benefit out of it. So anything with an ADAT out connection can then be incorporated into the interface of the SSL 12. So. In this case, I'm looking at a Focusrite Claret Octi Pre 8 channel ADAT preamp. If you look at the back of it, hopefully they have a back picture and I can zoom in, you're going to see that it has ADAT in and it has ADAT out. So what you would do to connect this is you would take one of the ADAT outs, usually one through eight, and then you have this at 192, you can double it. We can get into that in a new video, but at this, with the SSL 12, it only has uh, one ADAT in. So what we would do is run ADAT out, and then that would feed the ADAT in of the SSL 12. Now you would have eight channels extra of preamps for recording. So you could do, now you can do bigger sessions, you can do um, drum kits, you can do multiple people at the same time, and then it has the monitoring section here on the, uh, on the controller so you can say oh i want this to go to headphone a headphone b so you can have multiple outputs to multiple musicians in the studio now that's just one case of using digital to create more inputs i meant more inputs into your into your uh, ssl 12. so this process is not just for this interface but this is just the basic of adat now, this can work with SPDIF as well, and we'll get into that in the second video I'm gonna do on this. But here's another awesome option that's been coming out. And if you look at this, the Heritage Audio Super 8 Channel ADAT Microphone Pre. If you wanna spend a little more money, and, and now we're talking about maybe defeating the purpose and, and saving yourself money, but this is a very awesome way to get in eight super incredible preamps. 
if you want to go, you know, go bigger and stay home, um, the Neve has one too. Neve uh, ADAT. Let's see what this is. This is the Super um, OPX, which has an ADAT USB, so you can plug that right into your computer. Now, with this kind of equipment, you're going to really add some serious channels to your to your setup, but most of you guys that are watching are like, dude, I, I can't afford that. So you could run ADAT out. All those eight channels of pre's would go into the ADAT into this, and then you could use this as your main interface. What's really interesting about ADAT, it sends its clock signal. You see on the, on the screen here, word clock. Word clock out, this does not have it. What is cool about digital is I can actually clock ADAT out to the ADAT into this and use the clocking, which is probably pretty good for the for the Neve uh, box here. And then we can override this clock. Let me show you in the uh, SSL software. So if you look at the SSL software one more time, you're gonna look at right here, it says sample rate, it says clock internal. If I set that to ADAT, whatever's set up in the ADAT screen, or whatever, I'm sorry, whatever set up ADAT connected to the SSL 12 is then going to become the external clock. And what does that do? Clocking and conversion is a huge benefit, especially when the clock from a, another device is better than this device. It, it really does, for a long time, I was, as a mastering guy, I, I mean, I really, really had to study clocking, conversion, um, you know, how do you get the most realistic sound in the, in the box? So it's fun to experiment with this. You can experiment with different clocking and you might realize that you just increased your sound quality big time just by hooking another device up. Here's an example of something I did back in the day, so I'm not giving you all these huge expensive options. So there was a thing called an Alesis ADAT. And I'm sorry, Alesis Masterlink. And on the Masterlink, and you'll see them come up for sale, 200, 500, you know. One thing that the Masterlink had, it had a very good uh, digital converter. So a lot of people really like the sound of it. So if I click on, let's say this link here, uh, I don't really wanna click on any of those links, but on the back of this, and they're probably not gonna show me the back, there was, I believe there was an ADAT connection, I could be wrong, but I know there's a SPDIF and AES connection. So I could take the output of the Alesis, send it to the input of the interface I was using, and then I can clock it from that. And when I had a, a smaller setup, I think it was like an M box when I first started, the spit if out of this actually increased the sound quality and clarity of this device, the, the interface. So what are the benefits of digital? Number one, you can add channels. Number two, you can add sound quality. And number three, it gives you a, a very efficient way to incorporate everything in and, and not have to, you know, not have to like buy a bunch of multiple pieces or multiple interfaces. And you can actually take one piece connected to another piece. And now this is the main interface of your system in the case, the SSL 12. And now everything can, can be under that roof. You can, you can monitor from their software. You can do all these things. So now you have, when I talked about this the first time, you have the four inputs here and then you have another eight. So now you have 12 inputs that are hardwired in to the same SSL software. And that is just the first part of this digital um, overview I want to do. The next video I'll do, I'll talk about how my studio does this. But this was a quick way to show you how ADAT can be incorporated. And one last thing, just, just to give you another, just another view on this. It doesn't have to be ADAT preamps. You can actually add more channels for mixing. And that would be like this. Let's say you go out and you buy an Apogee Rosetta, like an old school interface. And you know, they're still bringing 800, so that might not be the, the ticket for you. But let's say you find an older interface, or you have one laying around the studio. These interfaces, these converters have ADAT out and ADAT in. Anything with ADAT out and ADAT in, you can plug into this interface you can get very creative. Let's say we want to try like an older Lynx Aurora, you know? Um, 
which a lot of studios that I work out of use these. $843. So you would want the one with the ADAT card, okay? You gotta make sure it has ADAT. You might look at like an old school, um, I don't know, any ADDA converter. Let's just put in DA converter. Now, there's a Ferro Fish Pulse. Let's open this baby up. I heard these are pretty good. So when you're looking at this, this is a thousand bucks. It's ADAT and it runs studio and it actually has 16 channels. So in this case, you could run 16 of, I mean, I'm sorry, you could run eight of those channels. This is capable of, of adding eight more channels to your interface. So you would be looking for an eight channel A to D, D to A in that case. And that's what that is. That's a 16 channel AD DA converter. Very awesome. That's what digital does. That's what it helps you add track count. And it, and it really is fun to work with, but we'll get into a little more advanced in the next video and talk about how I'm using ADAT and AES and all that stuff. So my name is Doug Jenkins. Hopefully this helped you out if you're, if you're getting into this at home and subscribe to the channel and I'll keep the content coming. We got some cool stuff. I work with a huge studio in Ken, Ohio. We're going to do a PEQ shootout versus the original that he has. Very hard to find. And we're going to get into some cool stuff like that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you.